Hey guys, Mark here. Today I wanted to show you a technique that is used to create a loop at the start of a braid, which is handy for making dog leashes, lanyards and things like that. The technique is often implied and many braiders use it without talking about it. This can be quite confusing for people starting out with paracord crafts as well as those that have not encountered this simple technique. In any case, let me show you how it looks like. So here you can see an H strand braid that is started with a loop which is made out of a 4 strand braid. This is a very simple way of attaching a snap hook or a ring at the top of a leash or a lanyard for example. And let me show you how this is done. Here I have 4 cords and I want to start an 8 strand braid. But first I'm going to make a loop using a 4 strand braid, which is done by securing your 4 strands together. Like this. And then braiding a 4 strand diamond braid, which is very simple. You basically take your top cord, go behind through the cords on the left, and back down on the right. Then with the left, you go back and through the cords on the right and back to the bottom on the left. And again the top right cord goes behind and through the left cords and back to the bottom right. Then the left, through the cords on the right and back to the bottom on the left. And we simply continue this technique until we reach a length that we would like for our loop. Once you reach the length that you would like for your loop, you can simply continue with your braid and you have a loop at the top of your braid to start off. Now let me show you how you can start a 6 strand braid instead of a 8 stranded one. A 6 strand braid can be started with a loop by simply making a flat 3 stranded braid. So first we secure our ports and then simply braid a hair braid or a three strand flat braid by taking the cord on the right and placing it between the cords on the left and then the left goes in the middle and then the right and then the left and the right always coming to the middle. And this is a very simple way of starting a 6 strand braid with a nice loop at the top. When you have reached sufficient length, you can again simply fold your cord and continue with your 6 stranded braid. Now let's take a look at how to make a 4 stranded braid loop. Now we only have two cords to work with, which limits our options for the starting loop significantly. One of these options is to make a twisted rope out of the two cords, which is made by twisting the left cord, then placing it over the right. We then twist the left cord again, placing it over the right and twist the left again, place it over the right. Twist the left, place it over the right. And this is going to create a loop of two cords. Alternatively, you could use a chain sinnet method, for example, which would also work, I guess. And again, once you reach your length, Simply fold your cords into a loop and continue with a four stranded braid. So guys, I hope that this few techniques will help you make better projects. It's just a little tip 
that many of you already know, but for those that don't, now you do. Thank you for joining me, see you next time.